Depending upon the design that they've selected, uh, uh, the modern style quilt, what I'll do is I'll just literally lay these shirts out on the floor in their short shirt form and I'll get a feel for where I want them. Then I literally, I snap a picture, uh, then I start to just cut these down and it's just cut the sleeves off, I cut the front off the back, oh like tie dye, that's going to look awesome in the quilt, that will look absolutely spectacular. Um, and then I interface them and you know always keeping in mind what's important for the client like I know that this woman um, they're very religious uh, so this shirt here will probably be front and center and then this makes the star and I will literally sew that and then actually this turns into a um, triangle and it becomes the star Let's see different colored fabrics but you do that you do the points on each side and then you have what is called the friendship store these are little squares and strips that I've started to do for this quilt and then I have to sew this to the strips of t-shirts and shirts and then you build it back up to become a, a big blanket so you you cut them all down to small pieces and um, and then you build your way up then the cutting begins and probably in all of quilting that's the most important phase because the cuts have to be exact or else the quilt's not going to lay flat and it's not going to sew right. So um, I have templates that I, uh, plastic templates that I cut and a rotary cut that, you know, if, if most squares are about 13 inches square, they have to be 13 inches square. Um, and so you cut them all down and you measure twice, cut once type of thing. And then um, once that is all done, then I literally start an assembly line on this dining room table of all of the squares with the sashing strips. Like if I'm making a traditional style quilt, this is going to get sewn to this. And I will literally start the sewing process. And I'll do the same to this one. And then these two will get sewn together. Then you add the beautiful 100% cotton batting, which for me is just really what makes my quilts, um, you know, top of the line. And then the customer gets to select whether they want the super soft flannel or if they want the traditional cotton that's in quilts. The binding is the framing of the quilt. And I literally make two inch strips of the fabric, circumference probably 700 inches and then that gets attached to the quilt as the final stage.